Hello friends, my name is Rajiv Sharma and in this video I will show you some my uh, another test of Arduino with Houdini. So let's start Houdini first. Side effects, Houdini effects and Houdini software launch. Okay, so I have a small scene which is nothing, just a teapot and a plane. So let's see what we have right now. So let's just open MXU sensor. So it will open a new window. Yep. So here you can see that uh, this is Houdini MXU sensor window, which uh, displays that data is coming from Arduino to Houdini. And uh, if let's say if I disconnect the Arduino, it this data. Uh, this indication will stop uh, here you can uh, select the sensors right now we don't have any sensor in Houdini so let's add one more so press tab MX studio uh, MX U sensor okay so here we selected one sensor uh, just reload so this sensor will update here here you will get the list of all the objects which is here in your scene level and uh, of course you can if let's say if you add a torus here and uh, update that that will also come here and if you select the object you will see the all parameters will come here so the idea is you can uh, select the sensor select the object and select the parameter then you can pass the data which is coming in from sensor to that parameter okay i'll show you how to do this uh, even this will work for the point light also uh, it, it doesn't matter you can select the object it will show you the parameters and you just link and if the parameter is not supported like let's say if it is uh, if the parameters is required on and off or any string so that will just pass it will not execute anything and if it's like this uh, translate rotation scale uh, that will work fine okay so let's see what we can do with this so I'll just remove this chorus because um, I will do this with the teapot okay so let's see uh, select the platonic solid object just reload that okay and I will connect this with the translate Y okay so this platonic solid translate uh, Y and connect parameter okay so what you will see nothing there right now let's see so get the teapot down so with my hand you can see come because I connected translate Y of a platonic object that's teapot uh, so I can control the um, the translate Y with my hand actually it's actually getting the data of the distance of my hand uh, from the sensor which I'm using here as you can see this is a HC uh, what's the name HC SR04 sensor uh, it's ultra ultrasonic sensor so which calculate the distance and uh, I'm getting this value and putting this uh, data into the parameters of Houdini so let's see okay uh, let's see with another angle to make this more clear okay so right now this teapot is gone completely because the the value of parameter is too high so let's just reduce the value so with the hand as you can see now because if I if I remove my hand it will take the distance of my roof okay now let's come still that can that can be work on <coughs> any other 
parameter also let's say if we want to shift that in the x direction so just select the object and select the translate x and hit connect parameters okay so now if i move that it will move like that okay this value is coming <coughs> with y direction as you can see so this is the quick test which i did um, i will plan to make this uh, work with the rigid, rigid bodies and particle systems also so we can control the emitters and and all the behavior of the fluid so let's say we say um, go yeah so you can see this yeah so still there is a lot of work to do but uh, yeah this is the quick start and uh, i hope you guys understand the idea behind the sensors uh, this arduino is very cool uh, yet yeah, there are a lot of possibilities to do uh, stuff in Houdini so yeah I will make some more videos whatever testing and experiment I will do okay so yeah I think that's it this is it uh, for this tutorial or this video okay so see you soon in another Arduino Houdini video okay so see you bye